I don't have my GoPro today, but we're walking around Ginza. I'm using my phone. I'm gonna bust out the e yacht and use my phone instead of my GoPro and uh, see how it goes. Oh yeah, I get to go to Prada because Yasu's favorite stuff here. The Nismo R33 road car, the LM road car. Built this for homologation. Pretty cool to see it. That was huge. <laughs> They can't, this normally rotates, but it's not rotating today because I think the car is too big. <laughs> Pretty sick to see this though. It's like straight up just an LM road car. Still has all the cracks and everything. It's kind of deteriorated in some ways, but still super sick. Wheels look tiny. This is the exhaust? <laughs> Stock exhaust? <laughs> Stop getting some gas. We're about 40 minutes away from the event. It's bright and early. But the coupe is all together now. It's looking pretty good. So shiny. Yeah, Mori actually 
came all the way out from Osaka and then he drove all the way to Tokyo to pick us up and now we're heading to Sendai which is a total of like 10 hours of driving for him. And dude's crazy man. Completed form. The old DPK EJ1. This hand polished intake manifold. It's like painted chrome valve covers, temporary. All this stuff is going to be black chrome later on. Car runs, as you guys heard earlier. It's almost there. Looks way different than it did for the other event that we went to, USDM Jam. Got the right wheels on here now and everything. 16 inch TEs. Same, same color green as David had it before. A Nardi wheel in here now. The hybrid shifter. Some bridge Japan seats. David didn't have these before. He had status seats, but can't get status seats anymore. So you gotta run the good stuff. So exceed front lip. It's nice and simple. Already caught some gravel earlier on when we unloaded it, but easy fix. Yeah, it looks good. It's one of my favorite S2000s here in Japan. I think it's Koji is his name. It's got a Big Battlecraft supporter, some Voltex arrow, Voltex front bumper, um, spoon front fenders, and spoon rear overs. Uh, craft square mirrors too with the painted bases. Got these brand new ZE40s on here. He used to have uh, silver CE28s I think, but this new set is looking pretty good. Oh shit, side marker is falling out. There, fixed it. But spoon rear over fenders. Oh. Full text wing. Super aggressive. Got American plates with a battlecraft frame. You got a wing extension, wing bases. This is a good look. I love this car. Loved it before, loved it even more with the Z40s on it now. Some bridge seats in here. Battlecraft holdfast knob. Narrated dogfight steering wheel. And does he have the Battlecraft quick release? Let's see. Oh, he does. I mean, you guys can't see it, but trust me, it's in there. Yeah, fantastic looking car. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a Ford Probe GT in Japan. I haven't even seen one of these back at home in like over 10 years. So it's crazy to see a second gen Ford Probe here in Japan. This one has Mustang wheels on it. It's the RX-8 seats. It's automatic. It's crazy. I used to love these cars growing up. It's so weird to see it here. I love the Ford Probes because they always look like concept cars, but it's like one of the rare times when they actually made a concept car into a production vehicle and they didn't change it too much. It's a very quirky, cool car that's actually made by Mazda. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit Japanese compared to other Fords back during that era. But yeah, the Ford Probe in Sendai, Japan. Some of the cars from L2P, Lord to Perfection. Full Mugen SS S2000. 
Mugen seat, Grady steering wheel, Mugen hood, Mugen MF10, the Mugen SS front. Does he have the rear too? He has to have the rear. Mugen wing. Oh yeah, Mugen exhaust and the SS rear bumper. Nice. Catalog car. Very cool. Yeah. Some Saki's car. Yeah. Yeah. He has so much stuff. This guy's collection, like vision parts and everything. He has a different look for every, like every single show. They he changed everything. This is Masaki Fukuda's car. Yeah, he has US ITR seats too. <laughs> yeah, he always changes stuff. Went with the Mugen front lip for this one. Work RZRs, the spoon brakes. Division corners. Good look, top tier EG. Mm. Ooh. Suzuki's ITR. <laughs> Boom, you can kit. You can MF10, spoon brakes. Spoon mirrors? Yeah. yeah. Pikachu in here. Want the yellow ITR seats. It always looks good. Mm -hmm. Super complete. Spoon, mm -hmm. Spoon Gen 1. <coughs> no. Yeah. 98R. He bought this thing pretty cheap, I think, when we talked to him last time compared to today's prices. But it's pretty low mile black ITR. From the US. So you can DC5. White MF10s. It's some magical racing mirrors. The paint match. Got the Mugen wing. Mugen rear. This is Takaru's car. If you're confused, this is actually a, a, a Mugen RR, but he's such a USDM fanatic that he changed it to a FA5 US trunk. And I know a lot of you guys are in pain because you're seeing this, but he switches back and forth, so don't worry. He can change it at any time. He has a trunk, he has the taillights, he has the JDM rear bumper still. You can see because it sticks out more. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's, so it's still the original RR bumper. So, it's not permanent, but he always switches back and forth. And yes, this is a Mugen RR. The Riga Masters on it. It's got the spoon mirrors too. Mm. Escalito seats and the ICB seats. It's the company that made the ICB seats. And these are just the blanks. Takaru, what happened to the trunk? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Got the Mugen wing. Uh. Why? What? Why? Ah, uh, USDM event. Oh, yeah, uh. see? Mm. But every day? Uh, stuck. Sometimes switch. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, maybe this event uh, best US track. Uh, but I like JDM too. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. This is daily driver. <laughs> Takari's car. The Mugen brakes. The size of these. 18 by 9 and a half. 9? Nine, nine, 9? Nine. Yeah. 
What's, what's that tire? Pretty aggressive. Oh yeah, uh, nine and a half. Yeah, nine and a half. This guy. You can steering wheel. So cool. <laughs> so a couple of cars that you guys saw at the Chan Oka meet that I covered uh, earlier this year during springtime. Really like this EG6, the SE37Ks on it. So Ferio here, another Ferio here, the BYS bumper and CPRs. And this is uh, Chan Oka's Integra GSR, imported from the US, but converted to JDM front custom front lip to look like a feels lip because that's not available anymore got some eight spoke CEs AP racing brakes he also has some magical racing mirrors on here yeah left hand drive USDM GSR got a feels knob on there look like an Easter egg or a Tenga but anyways this is a completely repainted car Still has taillights on it to match the front. But yeah, Chanoka. Huge fan of USDM Honda culture. So it makes sense that he has this car and it's built this way. The Spoon Sports FE2 Civic SI. This car is actually imported from California. They imported it here so they could develop parts for it, like make a front lip and stuff. And uh they don't actually have a sedan here in Japan. That's why they imported this one. They only have the hatchbacks. So the front end is the same though. So they're able to develop parts for it still. But yeah, this one has spoon seats in it and all that stuff. But yeah, very American car. It's a spoon booth showing support to Takeshi. Because Takeshi is a longtime loyal spoon enthusiast. This is their FL5 developmental car. Looks very much the same as the one you saw in Australia with JDM Yard because it has the same prototype front lip on it and spoon wheels. These are 19s, I think he said. Yeah, these are the new 19 inch spoon wheels for these newer model Civics. Yeah, they're gonna make mirrors and stuff for it soon, but so far there's a wing and a front lip. Spoon wheel, spoon seats. Spoon FL5. It's one of my favorites. It's an RA3 Odyssey. This car, I haven't seen this car in a couple of years actually. It's been around for a while. Got a shaved bay. H22 swap. Mugen header. Damn. This car always looks good. It's 17 by 9 T37s has a US bumpers? No. It has US interior in it because it has the tan interior. Oh yeah. It has a US rear bumper. Yeah. Yeah. Because the JDM one doesn't have that black uh, mm -hmm. piece on it. Yeah. No, mine had it. Yeah, yeah. It has it. Yeah. It's the Aero Spirit bumpers. USDM corner lights, USDM headlight. No, this, wow, he has the covers too. Oh yeah, US headlight. <laughs> Stanley US headlights. Yeah. With headlight covers. There, USDM. This one right here is the one that I showed you guys at the Chan Oka meet, but the hood was closed. Now you can finally see it. It has an Isuzu Oasis conversion on it, but it actually has a turbocharged F-Series. F22B, yeah, F22B2. Turbocharge, some BC stuff on here. Golden Eagle manifold. Sport mounts. Huge top mount turbo. I think the last time he said I made like 500. But he has a 
Azek front lip. C28. Ganador mirrors. Yeah, Elkhorn brakes. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Seas. Ganadors. Recaro seats inside. Uh, yeah, intersection knob. Momo prototipo wheel. The digital display. The IQ3. Heltec? Heltec? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Also has the US bumper, but the Isuzu Oasis bumper and badging. I believe his username is. This is a left hand drive imported EP3. He has the shifter on the floor conversion. He's got Checkered Sports personal wheel. You can see how the center console area has been filled in so it doesn't have an exposed hole for the shifter anymore. But, you know, um, these are magical racing. These are vision, I think. But, he has the skunk tube, magnesium valve cover, and Toda ITBs. It's a nice setup here. This is like combines both US and JDM. SE37, so it's a Willwood brakes. The outside is the Type R look. <laughs> it's cool. It's a nice mix where it's like not overly USDM catered to end. Still has that traditional Japanese look to it, I guess you can say. The color match bolt and roll bar. Yeah, announced the awards here with the cars up front, so everyone knows exactly who's winning. So they're doing that right now, laying out the cars that are winning the three awards today. This is a USDM based show, so. The winners are all selected based on both build, build quality and how um, American the cars can look, I guess. So that's why this one makes sense. I don't know, I didn't select them. This one is an obvious winner. They won Best of Show at Week Fest this year. And won a couple of awards at USDM Jam too. So this one is also a really nice build. It's like a three year long build. It's like a complete resto job, so. Hideo Shingu's ITR. Look at this Nisei Week decal. Somebody from L2P reproduced this decal just to kind of get that true USDM look, you know, which is really cool. Nice detail touch. He has color match vision mirrors. I believe this was at 98 that's been converted to look like a early model Type R. US version. He said he wanted to set up the car exactly how you would have seen it at like an import show off had you seen it back in the day. These low maxis are a little bit too new for that look, but everything else is executed faithfully. ASR hub, spoon wheel, so has the OEM shifter, Advan RGs. Very simple type R look. This one, five lug 15 inch RGs. You can tell these guys did their research. 
is Takeshi Kobayashi from Type K. He's the one that runs this event, our good friend Takeshi. You guys probably know him. This is his USDM imported Phoenix Yellow Integra Type R. I actually bought this car in California and had it imported to, the, to Japan years and years ago. He still has a pretty great story about how he was staying near the port in Long Beach and he was just watching this car all night making sure it wasn't stolen and making sure it got on the boat to get imported to him. It's pretty cool to see. He's always kept this thing in mint condition. It's always in the garage. He has a set of MF10s on it right now, but he's got all kinds of different stuff for this car. But he's always tried to keep it like pretty OEM looking. That's why it's just lowered on Mugen MF10s. But Ryan from Rywire even made him a OEM looking tuck harness. So it's like he has a wire tuck, but it still looks very OEM, which is really cool. I gave it to him a couple years ago when we first started coming to Japan. I think it's over 10 years now. But yeah, this is his baby right here. <laughs> the show's already wrapped up, but everyone's still chilling, so I can finally get some shots of the cars. This is one of my favorites from out here. It's actually an EK9 that the owner converted to look like a modified USDM Civic DX. So it's like Midori Green, which is a color that wasn't available here. Even has like the green kind of painted onto the spoon wing. It has hints of green. Got a full roll bar. It's like straight up Zenki Civic DX look. Spoon wheels. Still has the B16B in there, but looks like a DX. Looks like somebody modified a DX in the US. A spoon wheel. ITR Recaros, the black ones. I've always loved this car. It's nice to always see it. He doesn't bring it out too often. So, <laughs> so I guess for those that don't know, this car is of particular importance to me because it's one of the first cars that I shot back in the day when I first started the Chronicles. David had this car just finished up and he was excited to get it shot. So he asked me to get some photos of it one day, one afternoon. We were just hanging out and uh, I kind of watched this car come together over time when David was doing the case swap and stuff. So it's kind of cool to see the car being rebuilt here now in Japan. When I got to see it first come together when it was in Long Beach or in California, I guess you can say. But yeah, now it's under Yasi's ownership and he's completely redid the car himself. It's kind of like as an homage to David, but also kind of putting his own touch on it, you know? Just making the car nicer, refreshing it because it's one of Yasi's favorites of all time from America, you know? So it's important for him to have the car set up the way he wants to set it up. And uh, yeah, we're finally at K-Day too. And it's an event that I have never been to. And especially this car has never been to. And Takeshi and David are also good friends. And Takeshi at one point was DPK when the crew was around and I think he was pretty excited to know that this car was coming out just for his event. Yeah, so he got the car all buttoned up and finished in time for the event and we're here and everyone got to see it. And it's kind of, I guess, I don't know what the proper word is for it, but satisfying, I guess, seeing everything come full circle. Seeing this car come together in the mid 2000s and now it being redone in 2020s. It's a pretty unique story this car has, and uh, it's one of those cars that's going to be tied to me forever just because this car has been around as long as I've been around doing the Chronicles, and as long as I've known Takeshi, so it's cool. <laughs> Guys from Upstart, huge Mugen fanatics.
like uh, as usual after the event has ended there's more photo shoots and stuff going on everyone just kind of hanging out normal things you know everyone getting an opportunity to see each other and getting photos of their cars together rare opportunity sometimes Get some pictures with the coop. <laughs> yeah, the lot's completely empty now. Just some scattered cars here and there. That's nice a little photo shoot action. You guys can finally catch up. meal of the day at 8 p.m. now some beef tongue since Sendai is known for their gyutan Takeshi told us that we had to try this place even though he took us here last time already so we gotta pretend like we never ate it before yeah. Well, it's about 6.41 now. Just moving some photos over to my laptop so I can edit. I'm in the airport lounge right now, in the A&A lounge, having a drink and uh, getting some dinner. They got free curry here. Um, that's about it for this trip. Time to head back to LA. Resume normal life. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.